Good evening. Our big story tonight, another Arizonan has gotten sick because of vaping. Thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 6, I'm Tram Mai in for a cutty bit of vine. And I'm Mitch Carr in for Mark Curtis. Here are the fast facts you need to know. The Arizona Department of Health Services says 13 people have fallen ill due to vaping in Arizona, but no one has been killed here. Across the country, more than 2,000 people have gotten vaping-related illnesses, and 39 people have died. And this really is a nationwide issue with illnesses reported in nearly every state and deaths in 24 states in Washington, D.C. So are researchers any closer to finding an exact cause? Team 12's Joe Dana joins us now in Studio 12A with the latest. Joe? In fact, just today, the CDC announced a possible breakthrough, identifying what they call a strong culprit that may be to blame or at least partially to blame. It's a scene playing out in hospitals in Arizona and across the country. 17-year-old <laughs> Tristan Zofeld of Texas hospitalized for vaping-related illness. Tristan was in a medically-induced coma in August before he was stabilized. What's been so frustrating for doctors is not knowing why e-cigarettes cause such rapid deteriorating conditions in the lungs of some users. It's obviously a, a rampant problem in our society now. Dr. Brandon Larson is a surgical pathologist at the Mayo Clinic studying the lungs of vaping illness. What we see with these vaping cases is a kind of severe chemical injury that I've never seen before in a tobacco smoker or a traditional marijuana smoker. The CDC may now be a step closer to answers. Announcing Friday, they've pinpointed vitamin E acetate, a chemical sometimes used in THC and other vaping products, as one, if not the primary cause. The chemical tends to stick to the lungs' walls like honey. The CDC says more research is needed. The variety of brands of vaping liquids pose other risks. <coughs> One of the problems with vaping is that it's there's so many products and materials and substances in the market. A recent test of several popular vaping liquids found most passed national standards, but one of them, mango CBD, did not actually contain any CBD and did contain lead. In comparison to one state, California, that has a limit for lead in vaping products, tests showed it was 800 times over the limit. The company could not be reached for comment. Now, as for that 13th patient identified today in Arizona for privacy reasons, the Department of Health will not provide that patient's age or gender. Of those who have died nationwide, the youngest was 17, the oldest 75. Back to you guys. Joe, thank you.